Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the world of airbrush makeup. If you guys aren't subscribed, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I upload one, two, or even three times a week. With that being said, let's get started. By the way, I did prep my eyes. I use Milani for my eyelids and Becca for my T-zone because my face is a bit oily. So as you guys see, the baby is down already. So I'm, I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm gonna be using three drops of underground. I think it's like 3.30 already, so I'm gonna try to do this makeup look for you guys. So I'm gonna start off with my brows and whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. Have you guys noticed when I do my brows, I just stay quiet? I hardly talk when I do my brows. <laughs> is it me or is it you guys? Let me know down below if you guys are quiet while doing your brows. By the way guys if you guys are new to my channel welcome to my channel and thank you guys so much i just reached 24,000 subscribers yay and i always like to leave a gap right here So this is a disposable lip applicator. As you guys see, I don't use concealer. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my airbrush gun. Just adding a couple of drops of airbrush cleaner because I am going in with the light color. Usually when you use a light color, you could go up to three times, but when you're from using from dark to lightest, you wanna clean good. Otherwise the color will mix and your light color will come out dark. So I'm going to go ahead and grab vanilla, just two drops, and I'm going to apply that in my brow bone color. So again, I'm spraying a tissue before spraying myself to make sure that the color is coming out. Okay, so that's my brow bone color. Also, I'm gonna grab a little bit of brow mascara to lift them brows. Siempre se caen, like, nada más estos pelitos aquí se caen para abajo. They fall all the time down. So I gotta give them a little lift. <laughs> so earlier I was recording for you guys, but I, I wasn't feeling that color. So I sat down, did that makeup look, didn't feel it. I removed it all, sat down, I was trying to record it. Something wasn't working out for me. But then I said to myself, I'm not a critter. So here I am at 3.30 trying to record this video really quick. And I feel like I found myself right now shaking because I know I have to go over and, and start cooking. So, but it's okay. I know I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab golden olive. One, two. And that's gonna be placed right above my transitional color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it right there. And for my transitional color, I think I'm gonna use the color Frown Brown. Shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna grab one, two drops of Frown Brown. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right in there. Very light, not too much. So I get asked if I use multiple airbrush guns and the answer is no, it, it, it only takes less than a couple of seconds to clean away. So just adding a couple of drops, black bubble, and spraying out. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two colors. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Apple Teeny, 
one, two. So I'm going to use two drops of that, or maybe three, three drops. And then two, three drops of Atlantic. So one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and close them. So I'm going to go ahead and back bubble and mix them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my stencil. And I'm going to apply this to my eyelid and a little bit above. Did I mention because I have hoodie eyes? I think I did, not sure. But I have hoodie eyes, so I'm gonna go a little bit above my eyelids. And I think I went a little bit too much in my inner corner, but it's okay. I'll clean up that later. So I'm pulling just a bit on my eyelid. So I kind of want to relax my eyes. I think that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and dry. So for my inner corner eye, I'm going to grab two drops of 24 karat and I'm going to be placing that in my inner corner of my eye. So I'm kind of going to pull just a bit and then just spray right here. And then to darken out my under V, I'm going to be using the color blue. One, two. With the help of my stencil, I'm just going to add it just on my outer V a little. On my outer V. And then slightly drag it in. So a little and slightly drag it in. Slightly drag it in. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add right here and slightly drag it in. And for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using the color Jet Black. All I need is eh, three to two drops. Okay. And then for my bottom eyeliner, I'm just going to aim towards my eyelashes. So I'm going to do same thing with the other. Okay. So I like to do my eyeliner in three steps. Place and spray the lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black into my waterline. Cause it makes a huge difference. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes cause I know a look is never complete without lashes, right? I feel like with lashes, everything comes to life. Even when I do my eyeshadow and I don't do my eyebrows, I feel like something's missing. So that's why I always prefer to do my brows than eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and place. Good. So as you guys see the big difference? With and without. Major difference. <laughs> In goes the other lash. Okay. 
there you go guys okay guys so moving on to my foundation i'm gonna go ahead and grab my temp tool and i'm gonna be using the shade 4w one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four drops of that so this is my face without foundation and as always i don't like going in too crazy full coverage with foundation i just like the light <laughs> I just like to cover my imperfections. And I like to cover always my eyeshadow when getting close. And cover my brows too, of course. And then for my contour, I'm going to go ahead and use 10C, which is in caramel. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, eh, five drops of that. And a little bit here on my forehead, not too much. And of course, la papada que nunca falte, the double chin. <laughs> Okay. And for my highlight, I'm going to go back in with rose gold and I'm going to be using three drops of that. So as you guys see, I'm mixing in here and there. Do you guys see that gold? So I think I'm going to skip on the blush because I feel like I have too much going in my eyes. I just want my cheeks to be kind of bronzy, like a little highlight, not too much. But yeah, look you guys. Can you guys see that glow? I'm going to add just on my cupid's bow. Super bit here on my nose, not too much. Okay. There you go. My lips, I'm going to be using this Lush Matte Cream by Moira. And there you go, guys. A full face airbrush makeup. Let me get up close so you guys are able to see from side to side. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, liking, and comment. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye now.